people ask me all the time whether I think Michael Guthrie is still the GOAT or who is the best at tricking, and Tiki Wu just put all of that to the test with his new sampler exhibit. Today I'm going through a formal analysis. I'll be naming every trick I can. I'm probably not going to be perfect, so I'll put the names on the screen of the things that I might miss or, you know, are just absolutely crazy. But as you go through this, I want you to think in your head, because Tiki Wu just put a great argument for himself as the GOAT, because this is a lot. This sampler contains a lot. We're gonna go through it all. This sampler starts off with one of my favorite things in the world, an aesthetic dub dub. Of course, exhibits the name, because Tiki Wu is an exhibit. My god. Most aesthetic dub dub I've seen in a long time. And it was Scoot, Pop, Dub, Swing, Double Cork. Let's go. That's such a good way to start. And then standing, double full, double cork, double cork, double cork. Dub times four. Now this combo right here, like I said, it gets really technical really fast. He starts with bangers, and then it gets straight into the technicality. Let me go through this with you guys. He starts out with a palm kick. And then he does a front swing scrubba, which is like a Sailor Moon touchdown rise. You just put both your hands down, but you go across your back as you do it. And then he's going to go from a pop and do a Valdez hyper, so that way he can wrap into a full, and then he's gonna swing into a triple cork. My God, that combo is so long, so complicated, and so crazy, but so good. So good. Double snapu. Double snapu is one of those legendary tricks. That's a Cali roll with a kick. That's not easy, guys. That's not easy at all. I cannot even name that many people who I've seen do that trick. Mike Guthrie is one of them. Shosei is one of them. I think I saw Zen do it at some point. And Tiki Wu. That's all I got. If I'm wrong, leave me a comment down below. I love being wrong about this stuff. I really love being wrong about this stuff. Cheat 9, hook, rise. Cheat 9, gyro, recovery area. Oh. Or Cheat 9, snapu. Do you guys call this Cheat 9, gyro, or Cheat 9, snapu? Because I've heard it called both things. Haruki! Damn it! Haruki did it! Pivot, double cork, gainer switch, triple cork. Scoot, pop, double full, gainer switch, triple cork. <laughs> on the grass! On the grass! He just did the same thing in both clips, but the only difference was he used a scoot on the grass. That's crazy! Gainer switch. Oh man, triple cork, swing, gainer switch, touchdown. Cheat, nine, touchdown rise, gainer switch, triple cork. That combo is so complicated. Let's watch that one more time. Gainer switch, triple cork, touchdown gainer switch, cheat nine, gainer switch, double cork. Or that was a triple cork. Ah, I don't even know anymore. It's so much spinning and twisting. Guys, I'm trying to keep up with this, but Tiki Wu is fast. Yo, did he just combo backside 14 like it was nothing? This is Aerial Mega. Rourke screw or side swipe semi, whichever one you want to call it, to an Envergado pop 14. That was the most casual pop 1440 or backside 1440 I've ever seen in my life. And after that, he does B twist, cheat 12, hook, touchdown rise, triple cork. That is a heavy, heavy combo. Very heavy. 540, wrap nine hyper, wrap 12, cheat nine, hook. So, Envergado pop. Okay, so this skill right here, I've learned it as janitor. If I'm not mistaken, it's basically a pop butterfly kick. So he does cheat nine, hook, Envergado, and then it's a pop butterfly kick, which just looks absolutely insane and gives you this air shape that makes the whole audience just like, it catches people so off guard. I really like the janitor. It's a very underused trick because it's hard to throw in because it really cancels all of your momentum. But look at the height he gets on this. That's crazy. And he goes straight into a rise, cheat 12, hook, cart, wrap full, swing cork, snapu. Big variation. 
and Tiki Woo's Snapu looks really strong. Tiki Woo doesn't do that many variations in this sampler besides a lot of touchdowns and a lot of Snapus, but those variations are refined and clean. Very strong. I know, dude, it sounds like we're inventing all of this stuff and it's like black magic. <laughs> it really sounds crazy for everybody who's like really outside the sport. They're like, what the hell are you guys talking about? Yo, look at how much Tiki travels on this corkscrew. This really shows you that not everything has to be perfect. Big recovery cork right there to gainer switches ending in a triple cork. Yeah, sometimes you can use gainer switches or corks as a way to like recover your momentum and figure out where your body is as you're moving it. Pop full, double full, triple. Yo, that was a standing one, two, three. Standing one, two, three. That is so hard. Damn, and look at how buff he is. If you want to be good at tricking, you kind of have to be buff. It's a struggle, you have to condition. It's a lot of work. It's just a shit ton of work. And it's a lot of the same stuff. But hey, you can also condition by tricking. It just hurts your body more. Gumby, trip. It was a trip trip attempt. He just did not have enough flip. He needed way more flip if he wanted to land that. But he's super close. He's dummy close to trip trip. And from cork. I don't, triple full, triple, or triple cork, triple cork. I have not seen that many people do that in the world. Touchdown twist. And then the pop flash. Oh, to a Sailor Moon twist. I love the touchdown variations. It seems like Tiki Wu, and I said this earlier, has a really good set of touchdown variations and is very comfortable putting his hands down as he does certain tricks to give him power, stability, and to help him recover, or just to add in some style and flow. I don't know why he's doing all of these, but they look sick. They look sick. Triple B twist. Big triple B twist too. You'll notice when Tiki does this triple B twist, he's not doing a giant run up into it. He's kind of just stepping lightly and relaxed and then he's just jumping super duper hard. Nice relaxed step, big push. And tight, nice tight twist. Standing full semi, front swing rise. That was a triple cork. That was a triple cork. He spins fast, he spins fast. Jackknife. I, I like this jackknife. Tiki Wu doesn't do that many like uh, kick kick kicks. A lot of his kicks are part of transitions or other variations or like a hook kick to gather momentum. And to see a jackknife really shows that Tiki Wu is trying to be diverse. He is trying to gather all the different skills of tricking and those kicks are definitely getting cleaner. If you look at like All Right Maneuvers or some of Tiki's other samplers, his kicks were not as clean as they are here. It's almost like getting that KTL support helps. Let's go. Mm. Love that jackknife. Yo, so I learned this as front swing or as nork. This is a nork, a knee corkscrew. Master scoot swing nork. So he's doing a swing cork, but off of his knee. Yeah. A nork. Super monkey scoot. Out of nowhere, Tiki Wu throws in a super monkey scoot. So this is scoot pop full D-leg twist, and then he's going to do a vanish super monkey scoot, <laughs> tack full, pop Valdez, and now he's going to swing into a cork D-leg twist. I love that melody. This is a sick melody combo that starts and ends with a D-leg twist and includes a super monkey scoot and a tack full. That is so cool. That is so cool. Gumby, triple cork, gainer switch, Triple cork. Oh, a 3-0-3 three, three from Gumby and from Cork. His triple cork swings are better than, better than I've seen out of almost everybody out there right now. Tiki Wu might be the best in the world right now. I don't know. 
We'll see at OMG. We'll see at these gatherings. We'll see when Tiki, Wu, Mike Guthrie, and Shosei, and all these other great triggers finally get to battle. Ugh! We need them to battle. We need this. We need this desperately.